Not long ago, I contacted a girl on social media. When I saw her online, she looked like everything I usually like. We had chemistry from the very beginning. We talked to each other for about two weeks before we got a chance to see each other in person. I booked her a $400 round trip to come see me in Miami. Once I saw her, I could just kind of tell that it just wasn't the same. I gave her a hug, I embraced her. I just realized like, man, I've been duped. She looks so different. The way your Instagram looks and the way you look in real life is not the same thing. She definitely wasn't the girl that I expected. I just told her, you don't look like your Instagram. I recorded what happened, it went viral. The way you look in real life is not the same thing. It's not even a debate. <laughs> it really is not the same thing at all. I never said the girl was ugly. I just told her that I was deceived. You're not ugly. You don't look like your grand. You don't. I definitely feel like she catfished me. Social media is toxic and it causes a lot of comparison. It's definitely hard for men as far as it comes to like Photoshop. We don't really see the little blemishes or whatever might be there. Now, like when I get on FaceTime with a woman, so I'm let me get a little spin so I can see what's going on. A woman's value isn't just how she looks, but our society is putting a pressure on them to use filters. If you don't have the right mental strength, it could be a detriment to you. I wish that women would use the platform to be more honest. <laughs> wow. Well, joining us virtually is Sunny. Uh, Sonny, I think it may be good that you're virtual. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but, Sonny, you, your point is you, you were deceived. For sure. You said you had talked to her for a couple of weeks? Yeah, I would say about two weeks. And, and y'all got along really well? Yeah, the conversation was great. I feel like we had chemistry. It was, it was good. But the conversation, the personality mix, the chemistry, that all kind of dried up. What happened to the, the conversation and chemistry and all when she showed up? Um, I mean, those factors kind of diminished when I saw that she didn't look like the woman I was pursuing online. Yeah, did, did some people think you were being shallow? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people thought I was being shallow about it, you know, but everyone is entitled to their own standard. You should have known better. You should have FaceTimed her. You should have FaceTimed her and made sure to see the real her. Did you FaceTime with her? Yeah, I FaceTime her, but I'm not the type of guy that's gonna get on FaceTime, and I'm not really gonna be asking girls to show me their body and stuff like that. That's not really my style. I, oh, I it's your think... style to videotape it, though, <laughs> secretly, and then make it go viral. That's your style, but it's I not think... your style to ask her to show you her body before she flies to Miami. Actually, I actually videotaped the young lady because in my apartment, when I started to tell her that she didn't look the same, she started raising her voice and yelling at me. So I felt like I had to defend myself. I started recording her. That's why you don't see her face or anything. Right, right. If you're in this dating game, and... And she is. <laughs> and I, I haven't been on a date <laughs> with anybody other than Robin in 50, almost 50 years. Wow. If you know that's the game, why would someone, guy or, or, or girl, send image A and then show up as B, you know that it's going to hit the wall? That's your, that's your way in. If you're looking for attention. You're looking for people that you have mutual attraction with. You look like you'd have things in common. When we're filtering ourselves, we know that men are looking at the surface. Women are also looking at the surface. But for men, these ideals of what women should look like in order to qualify to be loved, to be sexy enough, usually look just like the mediated cultural ideals we've all been having our whole lives. So they often think that these are real ideals, that women really look like that. And so women manipulate their images to be able to get their foot in the door. Let me give a but piece of advice to that? everybody out there, psychologically, under promise and over deliver. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.